world of iPhones and Galaxy devices, Google devices, LG devices, Motorola devices, you have so many competitors out there when it comes to the Android space. We in America only know of the main ones that I mentioned. Unfortunately, with the departure of LG, we're forced to left to wonder who's going to take their place. Sony is still around, like I said, Motorola, Google, Samsung, and of course Apple. But when it comes to the Android side of things, who's going to take the place of LG? Who's going to fill that void and who's going to come to North America that I think is going to really change the game when they come? Well, I'm here to tell you, I think it's going to be these guys. If you don't know what this is, this is the Xiaomi Mi 11. And if you don't know who I am, well me, I'm Tech King Mike. And I'm going to talk to you about this phone for just a few minutes if you don't mind. So, let's give the intro and let's get into it, shall we? The Xiaomi Mi 11 is a device that I recently picked up. And again, this is a device that I feel like you need to know about. I think this is a contender for possibly coming into North America and maybe dethroning Samsung or other Android manufacturers as the de facto go-to when it comes to the North American market. Now, Xiaomi recently won a case against the United States government that proved that they are not an entity of the Chinese government. So first and foremost, that means that this phone is in no way, shape, or form something that you need to be concerned about. What you need to be concerned about is how Xiaomi was able to fit 8K video recording, Snapdragon 888, Adreno 660, a 120 hertz display, super fast 65 watt charging, 8 gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigs of storage, all the way up to 12 gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes of storage, 108 megapixel sensor, ultra wide camera, telephoto, an IR blaster, wireless charging. So many things went into the went into making this phone the beast that it is. And yet, somehow, it comes under a thousand dollars. Can someone explain it to me? How this is how much it is, and this is how much it is? I can tell you, I've been using this phone alongside with this one for the last week or so. And I can honestly tell you that in my opinion, Xiaomi is a problem in a good way. The Xiaomi Mi 11 is an amazing device. The Mi 11 Ultra looks like it just expounds on what the Mi 11 has done and just adds some even more fire, bigger, larger cameras. I mean, look at the camera bump on that thing but it still looks like it's an amazing, awesome device. What do I think about the Xiaomi Mi 11 after about a week of usage? I think it's an amazing phone. I think battery life has been good. Call quality has been good. Cell service in general from 4G to even 5G that has popped up every now and then has been absolutely amazing. In my time using this phone, I have traveled with it and I have you know moved around the different areas of Florida and even some parts of Georgia with it and had zero issues with it. I'm also using it on Mint Mobile, so if that tells you anything right there, you can use a prepaid carrier like Mint Mobile, pop your SIM card in here, and you can rock out and have a good day. Now, the best thing about the Mi 11, like I said, is the price. I truly am impressed with this phone. If you guys know my channel, I've used import phones in the past, but the last import phone that I had was the P30 Pro, and I truly, truly enjoyed that phone. Sold it and missed it almost immediately. Imports are amazing devices. And with the recent decline and fallout of LG in the North American market, I think with this case that Xiaomi just won against the United States government, I think we might be seeing some heat coming into the United States soon because these things are no joke, man. They're no joke. So let me know down below in the comments, what do you think about Xiaomi? Have you ever used a Xiaomi phone before? And if you're interested, and seeing more content on this device, hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you'll know when I post more videos. And I will catch you guys in the next video. It's your man Tech King Mike. Thanks for watching.